ili taksi se akhunga ilun rasinik Governor General Mary Simon delivered part of today's throne speech in Inuktitut. She is the first indigenous person to fulfill the role. Today's speech promised to get answers on what occurred in the country's residential schools. This is the moment like to move to faster on the path of reconciliation. This year, Canadians were horrified by the discovery of unmarked graves at former residential schools. We know that reconciliation cannot come without truth. But will action follow the words? National Chief Roseanne Archibald from the Assembly of First Nations is in Ottawa. National Chief Archibald, thank you for speaking with us. What stood out to you from today's throne speech? Well, first, it was a really proud moment for me to have Mary Simon uh, delivering the throne speech. It was historical, as I like to say. She made her history, uh, so that was really great to see. Uh, I did feel that some of the commitments by the government, though, were vague as it related to First Nation issues. A number of priorities were mentioned. Uh, at the same time, you know, we're always talking about really needing strong action plans, strong commitments, and I do feel like the throne speech fell short on that area. So, for example, housing and daycare were mentioned. But when you think about First Nations, we really need strong social housing. Um, there just isn't an, a real economy in some First Nations. You know, having first-time home ownership means very little to a First Nation person. We really need strong social housing in that regard. And then even with daycares and childcare, you know, many First Nations don't even have a daycare center in which to administer this $10 a day uh, childcare that the government is offering. So there's a lot of disparity when it comes to First Nations and how the throne speech, you know, has, uh, leaves us out in many regards when it comes to some of these promises. Uh, so are you satisfied with the language you heard today around commitments to reconciliation? I, you know, we, we talk about a healing path forward, and we have been talking about a healing path forward for quite some time. And for me, because of the vagueness around, uh, you know, what does it mean to be able to speak the truth? What does reconciliation really mean? To me, it wasn't strong enough to really talk about what is the healing path forward, not only for Indigenous people, but for all Canadians. I mean, we are all reeling from this. I've heard from so many non-Indigenous Canadians who have said, what can we do? We want to do something. And so in terms of what, what this throne speech offered, I just felt like it could have been a lot more strong. It could have had stronger commitments for First Nations. They could have detailed uh, a little bit more on action plans. Like what we really want is a joint action plan with the federal government on the healing path forward, not only for ourselves, but for all Canadians. We're all looking for it. We all want it. We all love our children. And I think that's what this moment is about, is what are we going to do together to show that solidarity around our deep and abiding love and care for the children in our communities. And I just feel like this throne speech fell short in that area. Um, if, if we take a step back and look at today's speech and, you know, uh, recognizing uh, the, the trauma that residential schools, uh, the generational trauma that still there's so much work to be done there. If you take a look at even the recognition of that and, and what we heard in today's speech, I, I recognize that you are not satisfied with the, the commitments. It was too vague and you were looking for more s specifics. Uh, but if we were to take a step back and compare what you heard today versus something maybe 10, maybe 20 years ago, does it indicate to you that progress is at least being made or, or not? Well, progress is really shown by actions, not by words. And so we really need to see what that progress will look like. There are a lot of commitments and promises in this throne speech, but the real um, action has yet to be seen. And that is what reconciliation is about. It's about healing. It's about the action of healing. It's about things that are going to be done to promote that healing and ensure that healing happens for First Nations as well as all Canadians. Uh, you know, the healing path forward is really about 
making sure that we're walking shoulder to shoulder, standing shoulder to shoulder and saying, hey, these genocidal and colonial policies have not worked. They have destroyed our communities. We are saying that you know, this is genocide, which has happened to our children. So now what we have to do is really start talking about how we're going to change that. What are the policies and laws that need to change in this country to make sure that we are actually changing the course of history and investing in First Nations? You know, I said this many times, Katie, that this government, not this government, but all governments leading up to this government have invested billions and billions of dollars in destroying our communities with po bad policies, you know, that outlawed our language, that took our children, that continues to take our children today. And what we need is to have the same amount of energy, the same amount of resources, the same amount of commitment to rebuild First Nations. I mean, those to me are reasonable and fair requests. And so that's what I'm going to be doing as we march forward with this government. And hopefully we will find that reconciliation in terms of standing shoulder to shoulder with them. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the actions will be versus what is said. An action that this government is going to be judged on is whether it can come to an agreement on uh, with you as well as uh, with the organization run by Cindy Blackstock on compensation for uh, First Nations children who were discriminated against in the child welfare system. I know talks are happening behind closed doors. Um, can you give us any update on, on how things are going? Is there an update on how things are going? We don't have an update as of yet. Um, what, one of the, the bright spots of those discussions was that everyone agreed that former Senator Murray Sinclair would help us, that he would facilitate our discussions. And we all have a great deal of respect for him and he's highly regarded by everyone. So I'm hopeful that having him involved will start to move us forward in a significant way where we can get to a settlement. And that has yet to be seen though. All right, National Chief Archibald, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Katie, take care.